Hello all, thank you for coming back to Keeping a Notebook. I'm glad you're here with me. I speak to you from inside Betsy the Writing Camper, one of my favorite places. Today's writing chat is titled, Hands. Hello writing friends, Betsy the Writing Camper and I are glad you're back. And today we'll be thinking about hands. I've written a book called with My Hands, Poems About Making Things, it's illustrated by Lou Fancher and Steve Johnson. And I wrote this book of poems because I've always loved making things. And so for today's writing exercise, what I did is I traced my hand and then around my hand, I wrote all of these different verbs or action words that describe different things that hands can do. So hands can touch, write, scrub, fidget, make, high five, grab, dig, repair, fold, throw, paint. Hands can do many things. And I traced my own hand, drew all the little lines in my ring and some veins, and wrote all of these different verbs. And then what I did is I picked one and I wrote long about it. And I chose fold. Here's what I wrote. Folding paper into different shapes is somehow almost magical. One moment you have a flat sheet, rectangle, or square, and after a few folds and tucks, voila, a penguin, or a mouth, or a special envelope, or a crane is folded by Sadako a thousand times. Nowadays, young people send texts via phone, but I remember passing notes in class and folding these into special rectangles with little triangular tabs to pull. They looked like this. We also folded fortune tellers where you would pick a number and then a caller and then you would learn about the job you might have one day or who you would marry or how many children you would have or any manner of things. I used to fold mouths out of squares too, sometimes folding many, each a smaller size, like geometric paper nesting dolls. If you did not have scissors, you would just fold the paper back and forth, sometimes licking at the fold line and then tear for a square. You could pretend the paper mouths were talking. They looked like this. Hello, writing friends. I have folded origami hearts, simple ones from pretty paper to make valentines, and I folded envelopes from magazines, just gluing parts in place. Some people can fold many shapes from a dollar bill. I've learned, I forgot how, how to fold a bow tie from a dollar bill, but it would be neat to learn that again and to leave tips in restaurants folded in cool ways. So today, trace your hand. Think about all the different verbs or action words that hands can do yours and others, and then choose one to write long about it. After I wrote this, I got to thinking how I actually wrote a poem about folding in with my hands. I'd like to share it with you. It's called Origami. First, I'll show you the picture. Actually, I can hold the picture while I read it to you. Origami. I gently tear, just as I'm told, one perfect square. I neatly fold inside and out so I can hold a polar bear. It's almost cold. So, hands are amazing. You can do so much with them. There's so much you've never done with them that you'll do someday. And I look forward to hearing what you write and to seeing you again tomorrow. Take good care. Here you can see my traced hand, surrounded by verbs. These are the pages I wrote about the word fold. Yesterday, my husband Mark and son Henry used their hands to fix my bike. I am grateful to them. Whee! I am so happy to have written this book. I am most myself when making things, including videos like this one. Follow this link to find many maker projects that go with the poems from With My Hands. You do not need the book to make these.
Thank you for joining me today. I encourage you to write a page or two and to use your hands in a way you love or in a way that's new. See you tomorrow.